Okay, next up is software called Power Agent, which comes with the power tap, uh, power meter. Um, this is the only software that I'm going to talk about today that is Mac compatible. So if you're a Power Mac user, um, this is the one you may want to consider that may be a factor for you in the buying decision uh, when looking at different power meters. Um, uh, definitely a visually um, simpler and easier to use software package than, than the SRM. Um, and it, I think, presents the data in an overview way in a little bit more of an intuitive fashion. Um, also gives you the ability, uh, like I mentioned before, to configure your, uh, your CPU, the head unit on the power tap, uh, directly from the PC. So that's really handy. Um, so one thing you see here when you first download your data and open it up in Power Agent, uh, you see the workout summary, you see power and heart rate distributions uh, for the percent time for your different zones. Uh, so that's really important in terms of getting a really good snapshot of whether or not you spent the right amount of time during your workout um, in the right zones. The other thing in the top right corner you see is your peak power curve versus time. So for a given duration, what's the maximum power that you averaged um, for that duration over the course of the ride, uh, which is a pretty useful graph to look at. It tells you whether you're getting faster for slow durations or faster for longer durations and kind of helps you figure out if you're, if you're improving in the right areas depending on the type of racing that you do. Uh, so this is the summary view, then I'll let you take a look. Um, you know, just like all of them, it gives you a basic um, output versus time for both power, heart rate, cadence, and speed. Um, you can also display the, the torque measured at the hub. I always take that off the graph because it's um, generally not not a terribly useful thing to look at. Um, and you can again go down here and see the numerical values on each of these um, for, the different, um, for the different parameters. Um, you also have the ability to zoom in, so if you want to really pick apart one particular part of the ride, you can come in and do that. Um, so that's Power Agent. It's, um, like I said, probably a little bit more intuitive than the SRM software, I think, to just for a person to sit down and start using it right away. One thing that um, it does lack, though, is that ability to aggregate data over, um, over the entire season and over multiple days or weeks or months. So it doesn't um, seem to provide as many tools uh, or, or features to help you do that. Um, so that's uh, one, one minor drawback to this one, but um, nothing, uh, maybe not a big deal to, to a lot of users. So that's it for Power Agent, um, and we'll move on now to the Pro Trainer software that Polar provides.